Okay. Um, something else that Shug went into on his podcast is uh, he kind of went into uh, he kind of tapped at Hammer a little bit. To be honest, he he talked about um, you know the the storage reels, which wasn't a hundred percent true. But he talked about some other stuff about Hammer. What were your thoughts when you heard his version of this stuff? Well, he told the truth on that. <laughs> you know, I know what you're saying about the him being mistaken about which songs was actually in the storage, meaning the Tupac uh, or reels and stuff. But he told it. He, you know, he's about 97% accurate on that. I told y'all this story before. Hopefully we can find it if we can find it. We'll post it. If not, okay. But I told y'all what happened. Me and Shug was in his office. He was watching BET. Told y'all that. He looked at it, asked me, Reg, what you see strange about that picture? I don't know. He said, look at Hammer. Hammer don't have no jury on Hammer doing bad, Rich. Get a hammer. Make sure Roy and they'll get hammered to me tomorrow. Fly him in. Hammer comes to the office. Fly him in. He gives, he asks Hammer what's going on. I wasn't in that meeting. They talked. He gives money to Hammer to go get his jury. He tells him that his jury is in the pawn shop in, in Long Beach. Long Beach, California. Hammer go get a jury out of, out, of, um, out of the pawn shop. Hammer was around from that point on. Told, told all these stories. Everything that Shug said then, I done told, but Shug is 100% accurate on all of that. The only thing that John is saying he's not telling the truth about or, or misinformed is a better word I would like to say about was what was in the storage. Hammer, it ain't like he came, well, he did, he stole. He stole the reels because he was assigned over at Track Studio, and he was just over there working on his album. And um, so he had access to the, you know, everything, because it was his project. And that's how technically it's supposed to be done, you know, where you, and, and a label just give you the money and you go and create your album and bring it back. Death Row was a little bit different because, especially the people that got the chance to work at Canal Studio, because, you know, they had unlimited. They didn't have, like, a budget or whatever. It was just go make some beats. Go make some hits. A la, that's why you got all these songs that you got uh, that most artists don't have. But what happened was Hammer um, got his music and was trying to put the album out or was talking about putting the album out while Shug was in prison, as he stated. Uh, I found out about it. Uh, Hammer was in a bankruptcy, and uh, or he filed bankruptcy. Don't remember when he filed the bankruptcy, but he eventually filed the bankruptcy or was already in the bankruptcy. And I made a claim uh, for, um, for the album that he was trying to put out. But as Shug said, he knew Hammer didn't have any money or anything like that, and he was doing bad. Hammer was coming up to the prison, and I'm um, talking to Shug and meeting, and they worked it out. Once, you know, I sued him and, and filed a claim in the bankruptcy court. You know me, I was running the company, dealing with everything. We went through it, but they needed Shug to come at the uh, the hearing uh, in, in January, uh, probably December of 1990. Uh, no, December of 2001. Might have been November of 2001. Uh, as a debt, you know, when you have a person that has a debt. And Shug went up to Frisco because that was his only way to get permission to go up there because he was on parole. But he didn't even show up to the hearing. And he was like, man, I ain't suing Hammer. You know, I don't do that. I don't get down like that. And uh, he was just like, hey, I'll just use this to, to travel, to come up to Frisco <laughs> and hang out with uh, my boy Jay Valentine and, and Ron Newt and all of them. Shout out, rest in peace, Ron Newt. That was a good dude. Um, and, he, and that's what we did. And, uh, you know, 
I'm sure, like he said, he he eventually work it out the hammer. It's obviously for him to speak on Hammer and Deion Sanders. Everything he says about Deion, I have heard. I wasn't around because uh, I was a little bit before my time. I think that was like 93, 94. But he has said all of that. I didn't heard him say it to Eric B. I didn't heard him say it to everybody. And so, um, Chug is speaking 100 on, on that situation. And all he's trying to do is get Hammer and Dion to reach out to his people, reach out to his girl Toy, Toy Lynn, or, or contact Shug. Matter of fact, y'all, for those of y'all want to contact Shug, it's easy to contact people who's in prison. I done put up, and you know what? I talk shit about Shug, but I also still want and have love for Shug. John's mad at Shug right now. He might not want to do it, but I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going to put it out. Y'all write the nigga. Y'all contact him. Y'all email him. I don't care. This is the information where y'all can contact Shug. Write him. It's his birthday coming up. I'm sure he'll be glad to get a birthday card from y'all. And some well wishes from y'all. Be his 58th birthday, April the 19th. Shoot him a card. But Hammer and Dion, I know y'all be on social media, especially Dion and his people. Reach out to that man. Make it right with him. You contact Dave Mays, you know how to get a hold of Shug if you really want to. Make that right with the man. Peace.